Welcome to Yonkersook Nature Reserve, home to some of the best riding in the, in the Western Cape. Some trails like the Red Phoenix, Status Quo, Iron Monkey, and of course the Plumber will ring a bell to any Enduro rider down this region. These trails are of course Matt Lombardi's home trails. What do you like about them, bro? Yeah, I just, uh, I really like the variety that we have here. So we've got some steep and natural stuff and then quite a few rocks to contend with. And yeah, pretty happy to have national champs in my backyard this year. The trails here definitely keep it interesting. Um, and of course the plumber will play host to a stage at the SA Champs in, in October. So we're going to go drop in and check it out. We've got some cool flowing corners at the top and then all the jankiest rocks that you can find <laughs> down the bottom. So hopefully Matt doesn't drop me and we should have a good time. All right, we are now dropping into the plumber. This is a black trail, so make no mistake, it's going to challenge you as a rider, no matter what speed you decide to tackle it at. This entry drop that Matt and I have just hit is optional, but maybe is a good indicator of whether you're going to be ready or not to, to take on this trail. What you'll definitely notice up at the top here is that the dirt is loose and the corners are very tight. So you want to be very aware of your braking, scrubbing as much speed as possible before the corners, moving to the outside of the track to open up the corner as much as possible, giving yourself a, an easy way around. Getting hung up on the inside is very likely here, so definitely be aware of that. You also are going to want to be conserving as much energy as possible up at the top of the trail. The bottom half is very rocky and very physical. It's going to demand a lot of you. So the more energy you can conserve up at the top, the better off you'll be down through the rocks at the bottom. There's some really awesome flow that's been built in up here. We're absolutely loving hitting the trail, that's for, that's for certain. Everything starts to flatten out a little bit as you get off the, the steeper part of the hill. As, as I said, enjoy these berms, enjoy the flow. It's really good because things are about to get quite wild. You're going to have these last couple of berms now before you get into the rocks which are, are going to test your, your ability to cling onto the bars and, and pump with your arms and legs. Look for the path of least resistance. There isn't really a particular line, but just help the bike move out the way of the rocks, pick up where your suspension can't, and across the road. This section of trail really is good fun. It's got amazing flow. The trail isn't quite as steep, so you can have a bit of fun in the corners, sliding around, getting a bit loose. Do remember to keep on conserving energy because the, the rocky, rowdy section is coming up on you, especially if you're gonna be doing a full pull through to the bottom. You're gonna need that energy but make the most of these berms. They're really, really well built. Moving in through the rocks now, you have the last couple of corners before the first major rock garden of the plumber. There isn't any line in particular here. Try and look for the path of least resistance. Use your arms, use your legs, use your suspension to move through here. Following those switchbacks, there are now a few A and B line options in fairly quick succession, starting off with a really steep rock roll at the top there. All the A-line options are to the right, B-line to the left, so take note of that if you're uncertain. Awesome big slab here that Matt and I absolutely love with a drop off on the other side and then you need to push a bit of speed into the step up. Jump as far as you can, there's lots of room to land and take the, the left hand option if you're unsure in the air. Bit more flow down the trail here and then another awesome big rock roll. B-line option down around the left is quite technical actually, so be sure to check that out fast paced berm, and then a flat out section of trail which definitely has plenty of rocks for you to ping off of. Try and conserve your speed in these flat corners. The track isn't going to give you much more momentum from here on out, so the more speed you can carry through the corners, the more energy you're going to have in the jump section at the bottom of the trail. Moving across the second contour road, we're now into the jump section of the trail. All of the technical riding is is behind us now, all the physical stuff is done, it's time to just let loose, let yourself fly into the air if you're confident with the jumps. If you're not, there's still an option to ride around if you want to ride the trail out to the bottom road. If you are confident in the air, it's definitely still a good idea to go and have a look at the jumps. They're all high speed, most of them have really large gaps between them, so rather err on the side of caution and know what you're getting yourself into before you drop in. Once you're familiar with the track though, it's pretty easy going. Carry speed through all these berms, send it into the air, and have a good time. Once you are familiar with this trail, it is an absolute gem to go and ride. You've got everything on a platter, from steep corners to rocky sections and these amazing jumps down at the bottom. It's great for progressing your skills as a rider, or if you just want to go out and session the trails with your mates. If you haven't ridden it, the plumber is definitely a trail to have on your hit list. 
Sweet, so that was the plumber. That is definitely a pretty beefy track. I blew my rim um, down, but thankfully Matt carried you through to the, the bottom there. Um, do ride with caution. If you don't know Yonkazook, come out here. It's just past Stellenbosch, bring your 50 rand trail, trail entry and some climbing legs, and you'll be all good to go. If you've liked what you've seen today, um, subscribe to the channel, like the video, and keep your notifications on so you know when we're posting next. Until next time, keep the wheels on the road.